question most of America is asking outside the Democratic Party or Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey at the DNC. Who is Kamala Harris? She's a fraud. In what respect? She is an image that's been carefully crafted. You can start with what she is. She has a certain paint job, but that doesn't make her what she claims. And we have somebody that has a fabricated reality. I was just mentioning it a minute or two ago. She talks about she was that child on the bus integrating uh, the schools. And uh, if this was in California, I don't get it because at that point I was a school teacher in L.A., California, and we didn't have segregated schools. When she got in kindergarten first, I was a playground director with the city school system. We didn't have segregated schools in the entirety of California. Both of my parents were school teachers. What they did is they shuffled the teachers around, but right. you went to school in your neighborhood. So I don't know where that study came in. Uh, so smoking dope in the dorm rooms, listening to Tupac. He was 11 years old when she was in the dorms. And when he cut his first single or release, he was 21 and she was a prosecutor in Alameda County, California. So that was a story. Where she do we go with somebody that will tell those things? Yes. And she was that was a story. She that told to show him in the, the foundation. God. Uh, so when she, she goes to Howard, mm -hmm. she graduates, become a lawyer, and becomes a DA. What kind of DA was she? She was run of the mill. She got some advantages when it came to running. She had a boss that uh, she clashed with in the end to run against him after she disappeared for a couple of years. Nobody quite knows when. So what happens between 1998 and 2004? What is she up to? How does she finance the run? Well, she's with Willie Brown, the mayor of San Francisco, who had been uh, head of the Democratic Party caucus in Sacramento. And he got her a job when she was in her 20s, where she was supposed to nominally be working 15 hours a week, but actually it amounted to one or two appearances a month, and she was getting paid 72000 a year for that. And then he ramped it up so she got more than 120000 being on a medical advisory committee where most of the rest of the committee members were all 70 or above because they'd had a lifetime in the field of medicine, which she did not. So she got $120,000 right. a year to finance what became a campaign for attorney general in the San Francisco area. A couple of things I want to bring up, too, in terms of for being tough on crime. And I, we're going to look at that, that that West Bank thing should be looked into. I hear that. But when you talk about being tough on crime, she proposed a bill in 2005 that essentially would allow you to be arrested three times before you actually went to jail. The police chief at that time pushed back on it and says, well, I can't buy the Heather Fong served as police chief until 2009. Says proposal is ridiculous. So. When she says she was tough on crime, tough on the border, it doesn't seem in many respects her record reflects that. Is that the, is that the, what did you find, Judge? That's like her being bused to school and her smoking dope in the dorm listening to Tupac. It's the fabrication. You put your finger up in there and see which way the wind's blowing and that's what you try to do. Actually, her prosecutorial experience was a, uh, unmitigated disaster. I just right. interviewed a woman that uh, was inappropriately caught up in that uh, truancy thing for adults. A nine-year-old girl was caused to have a stroke, became paralyzed, and at 22 is still not fully recovered. So, Judge, just to just tell everyone, just, run out of time. Years. just real quick, what everyone said it was, for example, if you cut school, they were actually pressing charges on parents. That was her idea to, to stop yeah. truancy. Except in this case, the woman wasn't uh, involved in that. The child was suffering from acute uh, complications from sickle cell disease. Spittle. Mm -hmm. But Kamala Harris sick some press on the woman to wait outside mm -hmm. her home while she was expecting assistance, and it turned out to be an arrest. So and the girl was caused to have a stroke.
you know, this kind of thing is bad, and that's not what a prosecutor is supposed to be, because the prosecutor is supposed to deliver justice, which includes every now and then standing up and saying, Your Honor, in the interest of justice, right. the state wishes to dismiss these charges. So, and she never did that, because she always played it to the camera. And Judge, uh, I've, I've watched you, you could talk for hours on this, but just to summarize, the American people have gotten one interview with the vice president. We'll see one debate with the vice president. If she becomes president, says she hasn't forgotten her values. She hasn't changed. If she becomes president, what are her values? What kind of president will she be? She's a fascist. You can see strength through joy. Ninety years ago, last month, in Nazi Germany, they came up with a program, Strength Through Joy, and it was exactly the same as the one she's proposing. Ninety years ago, same year, they came up with a bureau to suppress misinformation. Waltz and Harris have been pushing that. Ninety years ago, 19...